Hey everybody, welcome to the 1804 show. I'm your host, Dollar Will. Yeah. Got a special guest tonight. Old homie from the block. Been knowing this man since I was a kid. But yeah. First off, since I have been doing this show, I really been figuring out the haters and who's with me and who's against me and all that. And the first thing that I noticed is that everybody just ain't happy for me. And at the end of the day, I'm not doing this for y'all. I'm doing this for me. I'm doing this for my family, for the city, for the culture. Like I said, it's people that come into your life and they want to be nosy. A lot of people isn't happy. Body language tells the truth. Body language said it all. When they face, don't match their body language, stay away from them. They don't fuck with you. They never did. If you're trying to better yourself, all you gonna do is have them envy you. Great leaders was killed by infiltrators, people who had to get in their team, people that was close to them. So be careful who you trust. Be careful what kind of information you give people because everybody don't need to know everything. And you can kill a man, but you can't kill an idea. But that's enough. I'm going to bring my guests out here and we're going to talk. You ready, bro? People be having me fucked up like, like I can't fight or something. What's up, broly? What's up, bro? There you go. What's up? What's up? <laughs> hey, welcome to the show. Man, hello, world. Hello, world. What's going on? <laughs> Hey, we got a legend, man. Like you already know. Like they don't, they don't know, but they gonna find out, bro. Yeah, all the way, man. First off, man, thank you for coming to my show, bro. Like yeah, anytime, man. Anytime, eighteen oh four show. They don't know that's my boy <laughs> from the block. Yeah, man. L block boy. They don't know, bro. They don't know, man. Hey, he from the L. For real, for real, man. People, be, people be trying to sleep on me, bro. Like they. They think I never came outside, like I ain't never, you know, got to do these hands and all that stuff. But, you know, what I'm yeah. saying? I, I mean, hey, you was out there with me. I know I can, I can <laughs> vouch for you. I can vouch for you. You was out there. For real, for real, bro. You know, I just, I just you know, trying to go straight, bro. I, I'm just trying to do the, do the honest thing, man. And just trying to, you know, take care of myself, trying to stay out the way, you know. We in our 30s, You're doing man. that. You're doing that. Ain't nothing wrong with it. That's all. Nothing but big ups to that. You're doing positive shit. Got your show going. That's it moving on up. <laughs> man, yeah, bro. I appreciate it, man. I, I'm trying, bro. You know, it's going to take me longer because I'm doing this by myself. But, hey, man, once once I get there, you know, I'm speaking laws of attraction. I, I'm manifesting. Once it happens, yeah. you know what I'm saying? You, you come You're doing that. Speaking into it existence. Facts, man. You got to, bro. Because if you don't believe in you, man, who else will? You feel me? Yeah, that's the whole thing. You got to believe in yourself. Keep on believing. Absolutely, bro. Um, I want to. I want to start off with you know with you telling my viewers, man, who you are and and where you come from. Yeah, you know my name, Tom, aka Tony Roney. Long time residents of Saginaw, you know, been living out here my whole life, south side of town, you know, just been getting it in. Survival of the fittest. Man, facts, facts, facts. So, how about you tell everybody what made you want to come on the show, man, and just, you know, give your story. Man, you know, I had to come and support my dog. Y'all just got the show going on. 
Got to support my man. Let him know what's up, man. You know, so so love what love is supposed to be done. You know what I mean? You know, it's me. I ain't got too much going on. I'm just out here surviving, man. Living life. That's all it is. Call survival. Survival of the fence, that's it. Only the strong survive. I've been trying to get stronger and stronger. Been out here on my own since I was 15. Yeah, bro. You know, I, you know I know, man. And I, w I wanted you to, you know, talk about, well, whatever you feel comfortable talking about, because, you know, your life pretty much is, could be like an emotion picture, bro. Like, you could have a movie on your life, yeah, bro. Yeah. And I want my viewers to pretty much get your background and pretty much get your whole perspective on things, man. So whenever you want to start. Yeah, you know, sir. when I was 16, no, nah, 15, that's when we lost my mama. My mama got killed 2001, you know. Mother of 11 kids got killed in front of all of them. You know, that took a big tragic impact on our life. We was kids. We forced to live with that shit still. You know what I mean? We've been living through that. And just going through it, surviving. I'm here to let, let people know that you can survive. You know what I mean? It ain't no, ain't no, ain't no death sentence. Just because somebody you know, you know, got killed or lost their life or, you know what I mean? Because there's a lot of lives getting lost out here right now. I let people know that ain't no death sentence. That's because you lost somebody that's close to you like that. You know what I mean? You can you can survive. You gotta learn how to survive. It, it's, it'd be hard at first, but it, it's, it's called learning. You know what I mean? Living life and getting lessons from it. Facts, man, and uh, and a lot of people would judge a person on how they survived when they had no choice. Cause mm -hmm. cause before. I went through my little situation. Well, I ain't gonna say little situation, but when I lost my, my my father, the father that I have known and my brother, I had no choice but to cope and figure it out. Cause shoot, I was the last one left, you know, from my household. So it's just people who haven't lost one so close, man. It it's, it changes you, man. It, it affects you mentally, yeah. physically, Emotionally, especially, psychologically, especially your, that's, especially your highest figure, though. That's your mother, the one that's supposed to teach you everything. You know what I mean? Teach you everything. You know how, how you supposed to go through life? That shit supposed to be that's crazy shit, man. Losing that type of figure, and not only losing my mama, losing my big brother, my other figure, the other person that was teaching me the shit. You know what I mean? I left me out here to uh, learn a lot of shit on my own, though. But uh, and he ain't far fetched though. It was, they taught me a lot to put me on the path to learn more. You know what I mean? So I just had to keep on going, man. Just keep pushing. That's all it is to it. Ain't nothing to it. Don't 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 be out here stressing though. That's all I say. Stress kills you. Anybody out there stressing? Cut that shit short. I stress to kill you faster than any motherfucking bullet out here in the world, fool. Nigga be dead as fast. Exactly. That's one thing I don't do. I learned how to not stress. Exactly, bro. And and there ain't no money in your feelings either. So <laughs> oh, yeah, I tell no people problem. that all the time. Ain't no money in your feelings. So get out of them. Hell no. You'll be in the motherfucking shortest for real. So um, I want you to, you know, give like just like a, a, the finest memory that you have with your mom and then your brother like what's the one of the things that you that you cherish and that you can like whenever you you start missing them that memory that pops up and it makes you smile it makes you happy make you warm inside well shit, hey one thing i pop in my head anytime i just want to thank my mama she just be like boy you better pick your head up y'all some motherfucking soldiers exact words she said, y'all some motherfucking soldiers. Y'all better pick y'all heads up. You better not never let nobody play you. And to this day, ain't nobody ever played me. You know what I mean? My mama told me that, and I ain't, I'm sticking to that. Feel me? Man, bro, like, it's fun, It's cool, because like, I remember I remember Rosa, Rosemary, right? Yeah. 
man, like that was, I remember every time we used to go over to your house, man, and, and she would always be like, man, like, stop playing on my goddamn porch like that. What the fuck is wrong with you? I'm like, damn. <laughs> Riding bikes off the porch, man. Yeah. yeah, I remember that, man. Like, I still yeah. remember that, even though it's been like years, but I remember that, man. And, but I never seen nobody duplicate her style, you know, duplicate her attitude, man. She she was strong, man. Yeah, she had to be, man. So that's why I always, you know, ch cherish about that because, you know, a lot of these movies and TV shows, man, they like to, you know, put black mothers like they weak and that they desperate and this and that. But you have a lot of these black mothers out here who so These new black mothers, that's, that's a week. The new black mothers is weak. Yeah. That's a week. They let they just they, they what it is they they ain't being mothers no more they being too friendly they got to be mothers again all their friends said is out the book go back to being mothers man talk to your kids that's what I'm trying to learn right now I'm trying to learn how to talk man I ain't by me not being ever because like like my mother she talked to us as a whole you know what I mean mom come out she everybody in the house she coming at us like that ah. Hey, and everybody in their head, so everybody here. You know what I mean? So when I got I got individual daughters now. I gotta be able to talk to them. I got so I'm trying to learn the method of talking to them. I don't be knowing what to say, bro. I'm like a real street nigga for real. <laughs> I I'll know. Be with my, I'll be with my daughter them. I'll be with my daughter them and I'll be just like, I don't be wanting to say no wrong stuff because they they right now, they they in the at that at that the good stage, they ain't they ain't they, they you know what I mean? They they ain't messed up. Right. And I don't be wanting to put no corruption on their ass. So I just be like, man, we arrive, we ride for, for miles just listening to music. You know what I mean? I try to find the music I think they like. But that's it, just crazy. But right, that's what I'm on now. By me not having that as a, in my childhood, I'm messed up now as an adult. You know what I mean? Now I don't really know how to communicate. I only know how to talk to people. I don't know how to communicate. But I can talk to people that talk to me. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? But I don't know how to get it back that's what I'm, I'm working on that now though because i know that's a problem in my life you can't have that problem we have and you got kids hey man you know we are a work in progress bro and i don't have it all together a lot of people think that i'm 100 percent, but i'm not you know it took years for me yeah. to get i don't know nobody who got it all together no nobody. <laughs> i don't know nobody ain't, ain't no amount of money can get you together that's one thing you got to, you better, you better know that. You can get, you can get a million dollars tomorrow. What that going to do? You just have a million dollars. If you whatever problem you had, you just, you still have them problems. There's a lot of problems that money can't even erase. And a lot of people have that problem mixed up in their head. They try to get all the money they can. They want to taste and get all that money. That money going to be there. Money, money been here before us. It's going to be here after us. You know what I mean? That's why I've been, I've been over that stage. I feel you, bro. I feel you, man. And and oh yeah, bro. Like your your umbrella, man. Fat Daddy, bro. Legend. Yeah, rest in peace, Fat Daddy. Southside legend, man. My big brother, love my big brother, man. Taught me so much shit too. I, that, was, that was my that was my that was my daddy. You know what I mean? I was pops. I had to learn from him. Pops taught me everything, man. He loved to sing. I had to I had to pick up on his shoes. I was my brother. Had to, man. He lost his, he lost his life in the game. Doing what, doing what he did. You know what I mean? Yeah, I always remember him, man. Because he always used to give us money to go to Quick Stop, get some ice cream. Whenever we was hungry, he would always look out, man. So I always make sure when it's his birthday or his anniversary, man, I always post him, bro. And not just, yeah, you know, to get any clout or whatever. It's just, yeah. that's what you're supposed to do. Yeah. You already know it's real nigga shit. Real niggas do real shit. You don't even got to explain no shit like that. <laughs> no keep doubt. doing what you're doing, man. Everybody <laughs> out there support the 18 old folks show, man. Y'all better go <laughs> on and keep keep on watching it, man. Support my dog, man. He tell you, he, how you doing it? He kind of, I, I can see you being on that shit, man. Near future, man. I can see me uh, cutting on my TV, looking at my dog, like my dog. He the man, he getting ready on now. Talk to <laughs> your host, got your shit on there. You know what I mean? I can see you. 
Man, thanks, man. You know, I'm, you know, hey. I'm trying to be humble. You know, <laughs> hey, just just keep striving, though, man. You don't just give up. Don't don't even don't even listen to what the haters say. Motherfuckers gonna talk about it anyway. I'm doing the motherfuckers you block off. You keep doing what you're doing, bro. You can see it, nigga. Like you say, you will be in there. You be doing what you want to do. You will manifest something whole different. Motherfucker, we'll be coming to your show all the way in L.A. You know I'm coming then. Oh, I yeah, want to get booked. Sure. You're welcome. You're welcome, man. Yeah. You're welcome, bro. You will yeah. get the red carpet treatment, man. Like, for real, yeah, for real, bro. Know, bro. Yeah, man. Yeah, like, like you. Man. But, yeah, like, you just, like, one of the, well, you and your siblings, man, it's just, like, y'all just a strong family. And after all the stuff that y'all have been through, y'all still keep the unity. Y'all still, you know, have the the strength to keep the family together, man, because a lot of families break up after, you know, man. stuff like that. Because cause this ain't... We all we got, man, for real. When you know, when you, when that saying really mean that. You know what I'm saying? Say that. When you all you got. That's all you got. You got your family. At the end of the day, you can look. For, you can look for your family. You ain't got to worry about nobody. Hey, they, they, we go talk. You ain't got to worry about nobody talking behind your back. The man saying to your face. You know what I mean? <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. So um, you was telling me about, you know, you you did time and everything. So. What year that you went in and what you learned from it, bro? Yeah, you know, I did. I went to prison uh, 2004. Got out 2008. You know what I mean? What I learned from that was never go back to that motherfucker. I ain't never been back. I ain't thought about going back. Ain't nothing in there for me. Ain't nothing to do with that motherfucker. What am I going back there for? I ain't <laughs> thought about real? going back there, bro. I went that one time, four years. And got the fuck on. Never been back. I ain't thought about going back. How long that been? Since 08? About 12 years? Yeah, I ain't, I ain't, I've been out 12 years. I ain't, I ain't made a stand about it because I ain't proud about that. That wasn't no, no good shit. I, I, I got 12 more years to be out. Keep on doing that. I ain't, that's, that was not no plan. You know what I mean? All that did, that's what that taught me. Never to go back. That the streets is you got the streets out here. You got the, everything that you need is in the streets. That there is the cage. You know what I mean? You like a dog that's locked up in a cage that can't get out. That's not what I want. I, ain't, I don't know. I tell the little niggas now that when you get in there, that that shit ain't what you think it is. All oh, that shit, motherfucker, be putting on Facebook and say that shit ain't what it is. That shit ain't shit. You gotta, have, you gotta have money in there. You ain't got nobody giving you no money. Then you gonna be, then you gonna have grudges on people out in the streets. Oh, ain't nobody sending me no money. All that stuff you was doing, you was a player in the streets. Now you can't even get it down. Now you looking for all your niggas to do to stop their life and start sending you money and stuff. You know what I mean? Like they ain't got life. It'd be cool, you know. If motherfuckers send you money, but now you all that player talk is out the window. You know what I mean? Oh, and you go in there, it's, it's like you you on your own. You got to learn how to survive. People turn the kids back into kids when they get in, in prison and jail. They go, oh, man, we need money. I got it. Got call, call what's his name? See what he out there doing. I know he got a family and all, but see, call it. We need money, too. Like, man, we going we gonna to make we gonna make it happen. But people people be having lives. I when, I when I went to the jail, I, I go to jail, I ain't asking nobody for nothing. You know what I mean? Why? Because I got my own. That's what I was out there in the streets doing. I ain't my, my, I don't be getting that. You know what I mean? So that's why I, I tell the dudes now. I, be, I see a lot of other people go to jail and get out. They be mad as hell. They get out. They mad at the whole world. Why? Why are you mad, bro? A nigga ain't seen me a dime when I was locked up. You ain't have a dime yourself? What happened to your dime? <laughs> you, you, went, you went to jail with no dimes, bro? Damn, that's what I'm saying. That's what you can't do that. You can't do that. You can't expect nobody to put their life on hold when you get locked up. That's why I stopped that. I gotta say, I gotta put my life, keep my life on rotation because people ain't gonna put their life on hold for you. No. You can't expect nobody to put their life on hold for you. You know what I mean? They get locked up and expect everybody to put their life on hold. And then you can tell, you can look, you can you can look at people right now out here in the world. Like people get out of jail, they be mad at the little world, bro. Well, why, and why they mad? Oh, a nigga ain't sent me nothing. $100 is when I asked you for it. 
like it's like the nigga who the nigga you asked send him hundred dollars to got nine kids and got all type of got nine kids, three baby mamas, two girlfriends, all type of shit. He out here living life, but you mad at him for him not being able to do that. You can't do that. And if that's the case, get out the streets. Don't get to a job, then you ain't gotta worry about getting locked up. You know what I mean? Facts, facts, facts bro. Facts. Facts. That's, that's what going to jail taught me. Don't go back. That shit ain't they motherfucker people ain't ain't you ain't you ain't gonna get what you expect. You know what I mean? You know, if you're expecting to be all in there, once you get in there, you will be a lost memory. People will uh, they hold you down for a minute, then it's over. It's don't have don't have no lot of time. If you have a lot of time, it's over. You know what I mean? Don't get over two or three years. And that's when you your whole your name gonna be gone. It's over. Now you better just better stay in these streets. So I, that's a, the best advice I can give people, man. Going to jail ain't this. All that back and forth stuff. And here's and here's the um another scenario that people don't think about is that you don't gotta be in jail to be doing time. I did a five year bid in my head, bro. Oh yeah. And that's one thing I, that was, that's part of this thing I said about that stressing. That should have killed you, fool. You'll be dead quicker than anything. You ain't got to worry about a nigga running up on you with no pistol. You're going to kill yourself. Facts. You know what I mean? You get yourself an aneurysm or anything. You'll be out here fucked up by stress. It's in his ways you got to cope with that shit. And I know it's, I could have I could have dressed myself out during some situations, bro, but I learned what, what I really did, though. I started smoking weed. That's what I really did. If I don't think if I picked up weed, if we wasn't around, I don't know what the fuck I would do, but that's what really let me learn how to cope with my motherfucking stress and make me get that shit on. I, I smoke me some fire, and I'm done with it. I ain't thinking about nothing else no more. I mean, also, I'm glad Proposal 1 came through for us, bro. <laughs> I feel like you, nothing. bro. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, bro, like, that stress, though, it's just, it was, it's, it's crazy when... You, like when it when it comes sometimes you don't even know that you in and the notice be on the outside when other people you know see you and they be like man like you you good like you not yourself and and, yeah. and I, like i used to have like nightmares man and it was times like i was losing my hair and i had hives over my body and stuff like that and and just was paranoid, man. I thought everybody was my enemy. Everybody was out to get me and stuff like that. And and that's what I be, you know, trying to, you know, get people to take this depression shit really seriously because they act like it's a choice out here, but they ain't really seen or, you know, experienced anything that was a testament yeah. of time and everything. And Cause life is going to be life regardless of who you are and what you got and this and that. So I just wanted to just try to, you know, create something like this so mm. I can give, you know, each, each of y'all. It's, it's your way of venting. You can, you can vent through this. You can vent. It's your way of getting through. And people need this and this, this your shit. 1804 show. This is the way you're going to get all your feelings out. Go on and, and make it happen. Telling you, they go and pull them up, man. They ready for it. <laughs> yeah. Talking yeah. about me, we've we, we been needing something like this. Yeah, we do, man, because it's just so many people that got killed, man, and their stories die with them, bro. And, and I feel like rest if I peace, can. Rest in peace. Yeah. And if I, if, if I can just, you know, bring some, you know, people on, on here on some positive stuff, man. And keep and have that same energy as the negative stuff, the fights and the who's fucking who, who and all this other shit, man. Then I feel like I accomplished something. Yeah, that's all it is, man. It's just like, man, I don't think that's gonna ever get nowhere. That's just it's 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 they building it now. Like it's it's going down to the kids now. They're trickling down. It's a it's a it's a generational effect now. Yeah, and we see it. Now, by us being around for so long, we done seen all type of stuff. I remember, like, when a lot of that stuff was taboo. You wouldn't even think of nobody doing that. But now it's just, it's, it's, it's widespread now, you know what I mean? 
everywhere you gonna see it. It, it ain't it ain't it ain't here no more. People, the, the morals then left the building. You know what I mean? Ain't no more morals <laughs> in the game no more. Ain't no morals in the game, so it's just everybody for everybody. The whole game just open. You know, is they rats allowed and back and around? You can rat on a person and be allowed back in the section line. And back in the day, it was one code for the snitches. What this? Everybody knew the code. Snitches got stitches. All that. And it was back now. It's, just, it's, it's a big thing now. It's the whole game changed. Like if you still want to be in the game after all these, all this, the, the game been exposed. Is there something wrong with you? If you still want to be in the game, you you a new dude. You just jumped off the board. You know what I mean? You don't know that the game's been exposed. The game is not what it is. Niggas don't be behind your back when you get locked up. You get locked up, you you locked up. You know what I mean? You ain't no all that shit that they thought it was. All that if you be rocking out, we rocking out. And niggas be going, niggas niggas this is that shit gone. You gotta learn that. That's why I'm, I'm, I'm a long wolf out here right now. So I know I see all that. I used to run in the packs. But all that pack shit gets you gone in the pack. You're going to be leaving in the pack. You know what I mean? For real. I'm trying, I'm trying to have longevity out here. Like I told you, I've been out for 12 years. Since 2008, September 26, 2008. That's when I got out of prison. And I ain't looked back. The reason, the real reason made me not go back when I was in prison is a nigga, one of the correction officers, a nigga was telling us about the recidivism rate. A nigga say, 85% of y'all will be back. He was, he was all in the little room. The nigga say, 85% of y'all will be back. And I stood up. And a nigga like, what you standing up for? I said, oh, because I ain't the one coming back. I'm in that 15%. And I've been in that 15% for 12 years. I said, fuck that shit. I ain't... And I ain't stopped doing nothing I've been, been doing. I've been doing everything I've been doing. I just know how to do it. And I, I just know I ain't gonna I ain't gonna play that no more. That game is for I don't know who playing that game. But not for me though. Exactly, bro. And I won't want to be somewhere where, like his, historically, the the police officers and the correctional officers, they were slave catchers, man. They was paddy wagoners. And they were, what you think prison is? Yeah. They don't plantation. know. That's a plantation. It's a real plantation. And it's documented that that's you are a slave when you're in there. So you can't get mad at working for 39 cents. You can work a plant job for 39 cents in that motherfucker. That's all I tell you. I shit crazy. Man, bro. And um, I would say, you know, sometimes, you know, we, we have to go through something like that to be, you know, to be appreciated of what we had. Because sometimes, like, we be very arrogant. We be very cocky. You know how these niggas are slagging all be, man. And I feel like, you know, we at the bottom of the totem pole right now. Even though we had some superstars come out of here, but it's just people with Saginaw. It's just about me and fuck everybody else. I don't gotta pay no dues. I don't gotta pay homage or, you know, that 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 little nigga better get it because I had to get it on my own. But nobody's trying to pass the torch. Nobody is trying to really, you know take somebody by the arm and be like, hey, man, you don't got to do that. You don't got to be game banging. You don't got to be selling drugs. It's okay to be a lame. It's okay to stay out the way. It's okay to have a book in your hand and not a gun or a, a stack or, you know, or ounce. You know, it's 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 cool to be yourself. Most definitely, man. That's that's all facts. I'm, I'm on that path now because I got, I got a junior now. You know what I mean? I, I'm definitely in my junior ain't finna be watching me doing no bullshit. I'm go to I go to work now and everything. I ain't ain't never had no job. I'm I'm old as fuck. Never had a real job. I've just started really working a real job now. I'm like, damn, I got I got kids. And but I've been had kids, but it, it's a big difference though when you have a son, you know what I mean? It's like I I I know what he up against. You know what I mean? I can't have him out here down bad. My son gonna be straight. You know what I mean? 
you're gonna be all the way together. I was just telling somebody about that. By the time you get to high school, you're gonna be already looking like he did a grown man. They're gonna be already ready for co college and high school. If I got something to do with it, and I do, so you know what I'm on. We going all the way. Like hello world. That's my joy. <laughs> Man, bro, I feel the same way about my nephew and my my new godson, bro. I just want to just take take them by the hand and just, you know, so, so they can, you know, see by example but through me and everything that, you know, exactly. you, 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 you can be a boss, you know what I'm saying? And I've been a boss for two weeks now, and it feels so yeah. fucking good, bro, to be able to, you know, take this and... You know, do whatever I want, wear what, what I want, play what music, whatever I want. You know, it, it's I'm a free spirit when I'm at home, but on a day job, man, you know, it's it's all right. But I just tell people all the time, like it's never you know too late. A, you know what I learned about a job, though. You can't get rich off no job. No, <laughs> no. So if, if if a person working a job trying to get rich. Oh, he in the wrong profession. That's you definitely in the wrong profession. And and one thing, I would I, I don't never I don't. It's just me. I don't want to be the person that lives tech to tech. Cause before before I had a job, it's like everybody who been working, they they be broke waiting on their tech to come. But I got a job. I'm like, well, I, how how was that? And I don't see that I get paid every week. I just said I don't know how people used to be broke. And it, you can pay your bills with one check. Type of said. And you're getting four of these checks in a month. So if you broke, I mean, you you be this broke. Huh? You doing something that's not even supposed to be done. There's a lot of there's a lot of that's going on. Like how is you being broke? I don't be getting that part. Though. Niggas be out here playing and playing with the game. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta like you saying with, with your with your with your avenue, you you be doing something that's you gonna bring your own wealth. You ain't getting nobody else rich. You you getting yourself rich. All them all that revenue coming into you. That's the shit motherfuckers gotta be on. You you work a job to get to the next level, not working no job to get to get them rich. That's all you doing. Absolutely, bro. Um, I have a question, bro. What's up with it? What would you say to the Tony now that you could have said? to the Tony back then at 15 years old. What's your advice to give to young Tony? See, at 15 years old, nigga, I was in school. My GPA was a 3.7 when I was in school. That was a 3.7. I was trying to get the 4.0 bad as hell, but I kept getting A minus and shit like that. But you know what I mean? I, I just tell him to keep on going. See. Uh, if I can go back to that 15 year old right now, and just man, I would be somebody doctor right now. You know what I mean? I will be somebody doctor, and that's like that. That's the, that's what it could have been with the knowledge I had, and I still got that shit. And I'm finna use that shit now, so I'm on it now. You ain't and all the shit that I'm doing now is all positivity. I've been using my positive energy for a long time. Now it's time to put my energy into motion. And I've been doing it. It's all, it's all in them. And the wheels rolling right now. That's all it is. All type of shit. Well, I would tell you tonight that I'm so happy for you, bro. I'm proud of you. I saw your status yesterday, and it touched me, bro. Like I, I, I know what it, what, what it's like to, to just. You know, you, you bat you battle when demons, but you also got angels, man. And that's the thing that people need to focus on more is the angels, other than the demons, because the demons Trump. is you know irrelevant compared to the angels. And oh, yeah. oh they they and they real too, bro. I I swear to God, I would go anywhere in the world. Cause I got two angels on me that's going to go fight the war with me. You know what I mean? I, I be feeling I got two real soldiers with me. I be I, I, I go anywhere by myself. If you see me by myself, you know I ain't by myself. I got man, we we all in that thing. That's how that's how I've been living life. Man, bro, like I said, man. Stay free, 
like I said, bro, anytime, man, you need to talk, bro. I'm here for you, man. You know it, my dog. You know it, my dog. My dog will, man. 1804 <laughs> show, man. I support my dog, though, man. Stay up. Yeah, my dog on. Man, appreciate I'm it, bro. Cool. Appreciate it, man. And, you already know, man. Anytime, dog. Man, I appreciate you, dog. You know, it's just, it's just amazing, man. Because, like I said, you know me. You know, yeah. from when I was in, you know, down here, now yeah. up here and stuff like that. Yeah. But, you know, I'm, I'm really, I'm really happy, man, that, you know, we, we both survived. What, man, what should have took us out? Mm -hmm. And, and, and it's always a, a, just a pleasure, man. Like I said, man, people dying from this coronavirus, people getting murdered, people being sent upstate forever, bro. And, it's always good to talk to somebody from the one of years, man. And it's always yeah, a pleasure just to, you know, we, we both men now, you know, you've been a man longer than I have, but it just, I, it and feels good know, to man. talk to you as a man now. And then, you know, instead of that little boy that I was, cause I, I know I, I said a lot of stupid shit and done a lot of stupid mm -hmm. shit, but you already know. You know man, no. yeah. <laughs> yeah. He was growing up. You learned some lessons. We, we put you in order. You said some dumb ass shit. Like, what are you talking about, nigga? Man, go your ass down the street with that crazy ass shit, bro. Oh, yeah. Damn. You know, you grew up, though. It's life lessons, bro. We, we, we living and learning, man. That's all it is. That's all it is, man. Letting everybody know. You, it's, 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 it's light at the end of that tunnel, man. All that. Don't be around here depressed, man. Live your life every day. Y'all see how life going, man. We losing people every day around this motherfucker. It's time to live. When you gonna start living? I don't know what, what type of money they want to get. They, I'm gonna start doing something when I get this money. Man, you better start living today. Oh, that, um, live today. Oh, you ain't, you ain't promised next summer. Everybody, oh, I'm gonna wait till next summer when I start doing. You better, if you got it, do it right now. That's all it is. For real, bro. It's it's time to live. All that time. I'm a, I'm a next summer I spend a ass nigga. That's it out, out the roof. It's time to do shit right now. In the winter. You wanna you you say you ride with rims in the summer? Go put the rims on there in the winter time. You wanna, you wanna paint your car, go paint that bitch right now. You ain't promised next year, all that. Back time to live, bro. I have to put the yellow one for you, bro. You know, have to have to, have to represent. <laughs> you already know, man. We, hey, that's the, that's that's what they gotta know, man. I, I, and I love my hood. That's my hood forever, man. I'm gonna die love my hood. I'm gonna die sunny, nigga. Man, bro, I, I'm 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 sunny to the day I die, bro. I, I ain't never for, forgot, man. And shoot, the sunny taught me how to be tough, bro. You know, yeah. talk it, it teach you shit, like, cause you it's know, man, people be trying to hate, but. That's the, but the sunny man, like I never, you know, been on any side of town, man. That you know, we had to fight. You know, we had to, you know, throw hands man, and stuff God, like that. <laughs> we didn't really, sh we really didn't <laughs> shoot like that. True story. People forced us to that. We was whooping niggas' ass. <laughs> for for oh, real God. though, for real, man. But yeah, bro, mm -hmm. I'm very. Very fortunate, man, that you was a guest tonight. And do you have any any time, baby? Any final thoughts, final comments before we wrap this up? Man, just everybody just keep moving forward, man. Don't don't stop, man. You gotta you gotta you gotta you gotta go. I try to achieve it. Just keep on working toward it, man. Ain't nothing wrong with working towards your goals. And you know what I mean. Rest in peace, everybody that lost the life this year, man. Everybody that lost their life, lost somebody. I know everybody lost somebody, man. Just rest in peace to everybody. Just keep on moving. Let them just keep moving for them. You know what I mean? That's it. Okay, bro. Well, that includes tonight's episode. Thank you, everybody, mm -hmm. for watching. Next episode, Hello, world. Fire. and we, we gotta have you back, man. Man, you already know, man. You gonna come down when I come back. I'm gonna be probably in Vegas again, <laughs> shooting a big thing. You know, I'm gonna do it. My my next trip coming up in a few months too. So uh, yeah, we gotta do it big then. Oh yeah, man, no doubt, man. But yeah, 
everybody have a good night peace love be safe out here peace hello world